on Instagram, Supreme underscore Monarch writes, Adam, would you ever consider or agree to install another type of government structure, such as confederations, constitutional monarchies, or meritocratic systems, rather than the current of the U.S. of A? And if so, please describe what you would want and its policies. And that's a very interestingly phrased question there. Uh, first of all, would you consider or agree to install another type of government structure? Um, no. Uh, I would not install it. And that, that, that phrasing in and of itself is very suggestive of central planning, that we are going to install a government, we are going to impose it on other people or a population or a territory or something like that. Um, but if it was voluntary, so would you ever consider or agree to install another type of government? To answer that question, I have to say that I would consider and agree to, or at least not get in the way of, installing a type of government structure as long as it was voluntary. If it's people coming together under voluntary association, if it's people coming together under contract rather than coercion, if it's not people being forced into a government structure, then I don't have a problem with it. So now this gets to your, you know, the, the last part of your question. If so please describe what you would want and its policies. And this is where I can say, this is what I think is going to happen because this is where I can predict market demand. This is what I think people are going to want in a state of more freedom. I don't think it's going to be confederations. I don't think we're going to, we're going to be so free that we're going to say, oh, let's have constitutional monarchies or a meritocratic system. Uh, I mean, the market in and of itself is a meritocracy. It's a meritocracy of value. And if you want to encourage the creation of value, that's the only way. So, you know, that's not really a, go a meritocratic system is not really, I don't think it was a government structure, but what would I want? I wouldn't want anything that resembles government or a structure or anything like that. I think there are going to be people who want that in city-based geographic communities, and I support them having that in that format, of course, as long as it's voluntary. What I would want is a world that's so technologically advanced and socially enlightened that you don't think of any of these things as a government structure or a system to be imposed on people at all. You simply think of services being provided by different service providers and get everybody getting what they want. Uh, so if it's an insurance company or a dispute resolution organization or you know some other means of accountability through the blockchain. I, I don't I don't particularly care. That's the thing is and, and, and here's where I can predict what we're going to get uh, in, in terms of uh, you know social structure or lack thereof because of market demand because I see what is going on around us right now. Most people want it. I, we want what we want as conveniently and as easily and as cheaply as possible. No shit. We don't want it to be a distraction. We don't want it to be a pain in the ass. We don't want it to kill people on the other side of the planet like government, right? We don't want it to steal from us. We want to not have to think about it. So I think for a lot of these, these you know, services, you're gonna just sign up for an insurance company. You know, I, I, but it might even be simpler than that. Like I said, if you had a contact lens in your eyeball that recorded everything to a cloud that was encrypted that only you could access or, or people, could access if something happened to you. If you were, you know, violently assaulted, you could have the video proof of that. You know, in in that world, do you, you know, public safety services, criminal accountability services are just, they're, they're so minuscule, they're so insignificant that, that you really don't have to think about them. And, and I think that that basic concept of market demand, that we want what we want as cheaply and easily as possible, is going to dictate that governments are going to go away because governments are very ineffective, inefficient, distracting, violent, dangerous, ugly ways for people to get the few things that they do want out of them. So would I, would I really consider or agree to install another type of government structure? Ultimately, no, but it won't be necessary. And my personal market preferences are going to be irrelevant. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, 
The next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.